BMW Concept M8 Grand Coupe. In March of this year, during the Geneva Motor Show, BMW presented a concept car, which will become the future flagship of the BMW M Series. And of course, they also revealed some information about the project. Representatives of the company announced that the vehicle will go into mass production in 2019. The designers managed to create a sophisticated and at the same time a very aggressive car. The exclusive multi-layer coloring of the body added originality to the aspect of the car. Its color depends on the viewing angle. The surface is shimmering with different shades from green to greenish blue. The outer body of the car is complemented by the well-recognized elements borrowed from the M-Series – a double-framed radiator grille, gill-shaped air intakes and dual exhaust pipes. The car will replace the 6-Series and will also challenge the Mercedes S-Class Coupe. At the moment, there is no information about the technical characteristics of the car. The only known detail is that the roof will be made of carbon fiber. It's assumed that under the hoods there will be a bi-turbo V8 4.4 engine with a power of more than 600 horsepower. Ferrari Monza SP1 and SP2 The cars that you see on the screen were based on the Ferrari 812 Superfast Coupe, and there are almost no technical changes in comparison to their predecessor. The main feature is their appearance. The designers managed to achieve a new level of originality thanks to the unusual body, which has no roof or windshield. The Ferrari Monza SP1 is a car for one person, while the Ferrari Monza SP2 is designed for two people. The dry weight of the SP1 is 1500 kilograms, and the two-seater model is only 20 kilograms heavier. The body is made of carbon fiber. It was decided to use the same material for the interior, which, by the way, consists only of 812 elements. The V12 6.5-liter engine boasts 810 horsepower and a torque of 719 newton meters. The Ferrari Monza SP1 and SP2 go from 0 to 100 km per hour in 2.9 seconds, just like its predecessor. They need just 7.9 seconds to reach 200 km per hour. There is no information about the maximum possible speed. We only know that it's more than 300 km per hour. Ford Mustang Bullet In 1968, the legendary film Bullet hit the screens. Many remember the 10-minute chase scene with a dark green Ford Mustang. Fifty years have passed, and to mark the anniversary, Ford presented its new Mustang Bullet, inspired by the famous car from the film. The new model differs from the serial Mustang GT in its appearance and technical characteristics. The 5 liter V8 engine now has an excellent control unit, as well as the wider throttle unit, the Shelby GT350. These changes allowed the power to increase from 460 to 475 horsepower. The maximum speed that the coupe can reach is 262 km per hour. It needs 4.1 seconds to reach 100 km per hour. The Ford Mustang Bullet was shown in early 2018, but the fans will see it on sale in 2019. The limited edition released this summer is already sold out. Lamborghini Aventador SVJ Fans of this Italian company and its expensive sports cars are also waiting for the arrival of new cars in 2019. 
The new Lamborghini Aventador SVJ will see the light in the second quarter of next year. The car can be described by one word, ultra-modern. It's made of ultra-light materials, focused on maximum performance. It has improved aerodynamic elements, such as the splitter, the diffuser, and the spoiler. The exhaust outlets have a higher position in the exhaust system. Inside, there's a V12 engine with a capacity of 6.5 litres. Interestingly, the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ is currently one of the fastest serial road cars in the world. On tests, the car covered 20.6 kilometres in just 6 minutes and 45 seconds. Another remarkable feature is the ceramic brakes. They reduce the stopping distance to 30 metres when the car is travelling at a speed of 100 kilometres per hour. Audi e-tron At first glance, it may seem that this is a completely ordinary traditional car. However, Audi experts have put a lot of effort to make sure that all the details effectively interact with the oncoming airflow. Of all the details, we especially want to highlight the flat bottom, the active radiator shutters, the small external cameras on the mirrors, as well as the adaptive air suspension. Thus, the aerodynamic drag coefficient of the Audi e-tron is only 0.28. You may have noticed that the car is a cross between a crossover and a station wagon. As planned by the manufacturer, the Audi e-tron is a car that can easily replace a standard crossover, and the user will need a minimum of time and effort to get used to it. Inside there are two three-phase electric motors, with a total power of 408 horsepower. The car reaches 100 km per hour in less than 6 seconds. The vehicle can travel 400 km on one charge. The Audi e-tron electric car was presented in September, but it will only be available in 2019. Aston Martin DBS Super Leggera Despite the fact that this car is essentially a factory-tuned version of the Aston Martin DB11, it can boast being the most powerful model in its family. The aluminium frame and chassis are very similar to the DB11, but all major changes have affected the internal structure. The Aston Martin DBS Super Leggera has a 5-litre twin-turbo V12 engine with 725 horsepower and a torque of 900 newton meters. The 8-speed automatic gear was refined and enhanced. The cast iron disc brakes were replaced by carbon ceramic. Instead of an aluminium exterior panels, the developers used carbon fiber. As a result of these transformations, the car lost 72 kilograms of dry weight. It now weighs 1,693 kilograms. The unique exterior features include a modified bumper shape, new headlights, thinner tail lights, and a new hood. The maximum possible speed of the Aston Martin DBS Super Leggera is 340 kilometers per hour. Bugatti Devo. The car that you see on the screen is an evolution of the Bugatti Chiron, but visually and technically, it's very different from its progenitor. The body has acquired a new shape, painted with matte paint, and the carbon fiber parts make the car even more stylish. The 8-litre W16 engine has four turbochargers, a power of 1,500 horsepower and 1,600 newton meters of torque. Experts worked on the weight of the car, and at the end, the Bugatti Devo lost 35 kilograms compared with the Chiron. It now weighs 1,960 kilograms, but in terms of speed, the Devo isn't better than the Chiron, reaching only 380 kilometers per hour tops. The first 40 copies of this car were released in 2018. They all quickly sold out. 
Now fans of the series are waiting for a new batch in 2019.